Welcome to Code Effectively. The topic for today is what is actual and formal parameters. Today we will be discussing thoroughly about the actual parameters and formal parameters in Java. So let's start. What exactly is actual parameters? So you will understand actual parameters are those parameters that actually as the name suggests actual so that actually contains the value. Okay, the contains the value and what are the formal parameters? They contain the value that are being passed by the actual parameter. Okay. They don't have any other value. They take the value. And from where they take the value? They take the value from the form, from the actual parameter. That's why they are known as the formal parameters. Because they don't have their own original value. They have to borrow or take a value from the other parameter. That is the actual parameter. Okay. And actual parameter actually contains the value or you can say they own a value this is a quite easy and a one line difference between these two parameters now let's look with a example you will more thoroughly understand with the help of a real world example so you can see i have made a simple class test and made a function the, this is my function that is used to calculate the sum of two digits that have been passed as the parameters input a and b and we will use to store the sum of a and b in a variable name as ss and then we will simply return ss okay this is my simple function and you must be knowing this after this i have just created the void main and in void main we have the parameterized input when we will create the object object when we will create the object then the object will ask us for the values we will input the value n1 and n2 and these value will be passed in the function that is sum n1 n2 so our values will be coming here in sum and whatever the value the sum will return that is it will return ss and this ss value will be stored in s and we will simply display the sum of the numbers this is a very easy one so let me now exactly explain you what are formal and actual parameters see here actual parameters are void main and these parameters why these n1 and n2 n1 and n2 are the actual parameters why because during the object creation during the object creation when we will create the object the object will ask us to input the numbers because when we are creating the object object will be created from void main because the function or you can say the class starts from the main and in the main we have given two parameters input so during the object creation we have to enter when the program will run it will ask me to input the value of n1 and n2 and let's say i pass the value of n let's say 3 and n2 as 5 okay now these now n1 is equal to 3 and n2 is equal to 5 during the function call or you can say during the when i run the program these two values have to be input because the program won't run okay these are the mandatory steps so we have to input the values when i input the value n1 is equal to 3 n2 is equal to 5 so these are having their original values that are being input by the user okay then the uh, another line that will be executed will be int s is equal to sum n1 n2 sum so the program or the control will look for the function that has a name sum so we will come here and we will see yes we have a function name as the int sum now here it is asking for the value int a and int b from where it will get the value as you can see i have already mentioned sum and in the break brackets i have mentioned n1 and n2 so i will pass the values of n1 and n2 what are the values of n1 and n2 3 and 5 as you can see here so these 3 and 5 value will be passed into a and b the value of n1 will be passed into a and n2 will be passed into b as in the order so a will be 3 and b will be 5 so you can see these parameters didn't ask the user for the value they didn't ask the user for the value they took the value of the other parameters that was n1 and n2 that's why they are known as the formal parameters because they didn't ask the value directly from the user or you can say directly from the programmer they took the value from another method or another function okay so they values from where did they get the value they get the value from another method or the function that is 
they are getting the value from the void main because void main is actually containing n1 and n2 and these n1 and n2 values are being copied in a and b for the in some function to run so a and b don't have the original value actually what is happening this n1 value is getting passed into a and this n2 value is getting passed into b okay so that's why they are known as the formal parameters and n1 and n2 are known as the actual parameters because these values they have the actual what exactly they have the actual values that have been passed by the user so what exactly happens a is equal to n1 is equal to 3 and here b is equal to n2 is equal to 5 so a is having value 3 but who is the intermediate it's n1 they are not having their original value original value of 3 was of n1 is 3 a is having the value of n1 and what is the value of n1 that is 3 so a is having in 1 2 and 3 steps but n1 is having the value in 1 and in the second step you can remember in this way okay so that's why we call this as an actual parameter because they actually get the value from the user or from the programmer because during the object creation after we will run that object so we have to enter the value and automatically the program will ask to give me the value but in this the program won't ask the values the programmer or the program won't ask the values hey hi programmer give me the value for the function sum a and b the programmer won't the program won't be asking these values ki, hey help i want a value of a and b for my function sum to run no it will take the value from this of from these actual parameters that is n1 and n2 so i hope you get the idea what exactly is the actual parameter actual parameters are those that are actually having or getting their value input and what are the formal parameters formal parameters are those pa parameters that take the value from another method or another function they don't have their any original value being input by the user okay or you can say they copy the value from the actual parameter because they don't have their own value from where they are taking from the actual parameters from where because in actual parameter the user is giving the input and from the actual parameter that is the actual values they are getting their they are keeping a copy of these actual parameters so hope now you are able to understand what exactly a formal parameter and an actual parameter means and what is the difference between them try to run this program it will be running very easily if you like this video kindly go and subscribe to the code effectively channel thank you for watching the video